G'day guys, this is Tia, back with a quick guide on Fallout 76, and in this video I'm going to be showing all you amazing people how you get your build to the point where you can release a critical hit in bats every second shot, which is basically the most frequently you can launch these things, so basically, it's every shot. But before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that I do have other social media, be that my Twitter, Facebook page, or Discord server. If any of that interests you, be sure to check it out down in the description down below. And hell, if you aren't subscribed here already, make sure you do so. Anyways, into the video. So Fallout 76 made a few changes to the VATS mode from Fallout 4, some good and some bad. But basically, the critical meter has remained the same. Basically, the critical meter is a visual representation of when you have a built-up critical strike that you can then manually release onto a target for extra damage. 50% extra damage from your weapon's base damage, to be exact. So getting a critical strike as often as possible is definitely beneficial to get the most bang for your buck with your weapon. Now it's normally pretty time consuming to build this meter up, but in this video I'll be showing you a few tips on how to improve its build up time, and even eventually how to make it become fully usable on every second shot you fire. Now the critical meter is really useful for builds like a commando, rifleman, shotgunner or pistol character. Basically any build that can use vats predominantly. Now firstly, a few tips on how to make your critical meter fill up faster. The first tip being, having high luck, because your luck special points are directly tied towards the amount your critical meter fills up per successful shot on targets in VATS. So just generally having a high luck is a good start. The second tip is, the third star legendary effect that reads, your VATS critical meter fills 15% faster. This is an amazing legendary effect for this exact purpose, obviously because as it suggests, it literally makes your shots fill up your critical meter 15% more than they normally would. And lastly is perks, like 4-leaf clover, critical savvy, and psychopath. Now these all do different things and give you different avenues to gain your critical meter faster, but we will only be wanting to take a look at one in particular, which I'll go in more depth on later. But for now, just know that Psychopath isn't really worth it in this instance, mainly due to it being such a low percentage and situational thing in the first place, and max rank only giving you a 15% chance to refill your critical meter after killing something. That's not the best. Then we have 4-Leaf Clover, which at max rank reads, Excellent chance to refill your critical meter on hits. Now this seems good on paper, but it's very unpredictable, and I promise you, we don't even need this once you see what I'm about to show you at the end of the video. Trust me on this, you don't even need to ever touch this perk, ever. The last perk in question is Critical Savvy, which at max rank gives us the ability to only consume 55% of our critical meter, meaning it is much quicker to fill back up, because only roughly half of it got taken in the first place. This is by far the most effective perk for filling up your critical meter as fast as possible, and I'll elaborate on why, and why the other two are not needed in just a moment. So with all that being said and clarified, let's get to the reason you all clicked on this video. How am I able to make every second shot a critical hit in VATS? It's very simple, requiring only two things in this whole game. Number one is the Critical Savvy perk card maxed out. That's very important. And secondly is a luck stat of 33. Yep, that's literally all you need. You don't even need the legendary weapon effect that fills your critical meter 15% faster. With simply just having the Critical Savvy perk card maxed out and 33 luck, every single time you execute a critical shot, your critical meter will be drained by about half, 55% to be exact. And then your next shot will fill up your critical meter instantly, no matter what weapon you're using, as you can see with the footage displayed throughout this video. I'm being 100% truthful and this is exactly what is happening. It is happening every second shot. And what this does is basically increase our damage output by a lot. Like a lot a lot. Because executing a critical hit just by itself with no added modifiers is a 50% increase to your damage output. Then if we combine this with some synergistic properties in the game, such as the eagle eyes mutation, bam that's an extra 25% damage on top. Then let's add on the better criticals perk for 40% more damage on top. How? let's even factor in if we have a weapon that gives 50% extra critical damage from its legendary effect. Add that on top. Or even if we are eating some Blight Soup, which grants an extra 40% again. All up, this is an extra 155% damage we are adding onto our critical hit, which is already a damage increase in of itself. So basically, with that being achieved, we could potentially increase our damage by about 205% 
every second shot without fail. So yeah, it's kind of a big deal, especially with the current state of the game's damage calculation. Damage is everything, and this will help you deal a lot more of it. Now I know what you're thinking, how the hell am I going to get 33 luck? Well unfortunately for most of you, it's not possible without being a low health build due to the fact you absolutely need to be wearing and benefiting from a full set of unyielding armor. There's just no possible way to achieve 33 luck without unyielding armor and being low health, unfortunately. That's just another reason why low health builds are the best, in my opinion. My oh humble opinion. <laughs> but yes, the way I've achieved 33 luck is by first of all having my default luck stack set to 15, then the full set of unyielding armor, and then on top of that I have equipped the shielded raider harness under armor. This is essential as it does give you a plus one to luck. And then to give me the extra two points of luck that I needed, I got the legendary luck perk to push me over the edge, bringing me to a total of 33. It's not the most elegant system, but it will do for its purpose. Now, there may be other ways that you could achieve 33 luck, but I don't foresee any of them, uh, including not using unyielding armor. Now, also a little side note that I thought was worth mentioning, multi-palleted weapons such as shotguns, laser rifles with beam splitters, even harpoon guns with the flechette mod attached, all multi-projectile slash palleted weapons fill up the critical bar proportionally to the amount of pellets you're firing. So, for the case of shotguns, you're going to fill up your critical meter 8 times faster than you would with any regular firing weapon, since the shotguns always have 8 pellets fired, and laser rifles with a beam splitter fire 5 laser beams so you'll fill up the critical meter 5 times faster, so on and so forth. This basically just means that if you're using those weapons, you'll be able to fill up your critical a lot faster than normal, and you won't even have to have such a high luck stat if you do use those weapons. In fact, if you're using shotguns, to be able to execute a critical shot every second shot, all you need is a critical savvy perk and 20 luck, which is a far, far easier accomplishment to achieve. So yeah, shotguns and multi-palleted weapons achieve critical meter very, very fast. I just thought that was worth pointing out. That's going to do it for me, guys. A massive, massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters and channel members. All of you guys are on screen right now. You're all amazing people. Thank you for the support you provide on this channel. Can't thank you guys enough. Also, friendly reminder, all my other social media are down in the description, as well as links to becoming channel members and Patreon supporters if you choose to do so. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and even drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. But yeah, that's going to do it for me guys. I've been Tia, and I'll catch you in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.